Hello and welcome back to another video. You join me here at Shipley Station where today I am starting my new series where I visit every station on the West Yorkshire Rail map. Yes, all 70 I think there is of them. So unfortunately I don't have any time to actually do my history and tour of the station just yet because the train is in literally three minutes and it will be coming pulling in any second now so we are going to get on it and um, so when we come back later um, in the day that's when I'll film um, but we are currently on platform five we're getting the 12.56 Skipton train and we're going straight through to Bingley. What's this? Hmm? Ella, what is it? What is it? 331006 Right, sorry about the shaky camera work if it's shaky Oh, oh. Right then, because there's no one in this compartment we're going to go through with you What's this, Ella? Is it a train? So, a um, little secret for you, this first episode was actually supposed to include Bradford Foster Square fries and all, but just due to the fact we've got Ella with us today, um, we've decided that the best option would be start at uh, Shipley and then in a couple of episodes of time, maybe the next episode, I'm not sure, um, we'll pick up Bradford Foster Square fries and all when we do uh, Apple Bridge first and forth and then Leeds. Uh, we're now actually pulling in to Salt Air Station where we are going to this be coming to Salter. later. So we will be at this station uh, later on. The next station stop is Bingley. Okay, uh, we've made it to Bingley, Ella's first train journey. She did really well. Um, it was short, but still she did really well, so we're very proud of her. Um, yeah, we have made it to Bingley. So Bingley, two platforms, and it has got Northern um, Railway, it's got Northern Services serving here. Now, because Ella is wanting to get off on a bit of a walk, I'm just going to quickly briefly touch on upon this then I'm going to do a voiceover of the station's history. So what we can see here is actually um, both platforms here have been extended. Now it, what it is, is this is part of um, improvements along the Airedale line. Uh, we're also going to mention short, uh, in a little bit how, when we go to get to Saltaire how Saltaire is also having platform extensions. Now, the extensions are, well, or shall I say were, to fit six carriage trains. However, they've now swapped our three car, three, three ones, uh, sent them over to Manchester, and now we've got the three car, three, three ones. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head over to the Bingley Five Rise Locks. The original Bingley station opened on the 16th of March 1847 and was the only intermediate stop at the time on the original Shipley to Keighley line until Saltaire station was built in 1856. The original station was near the three rise locks on the Leeds Liverpool Canal, but the Midland Railway closed the old station and opened the current one on the 24th of July 1892. So we're just walking through what I presume is Bingley Town Centre. Uh, we're just going to the bridge to take us over to the Three Rise Locks. Then we're going to walk up the hill to 
the five rise. Um, the remark battery is there. I think I'd prefer the other St. Ives, thanks. I am well aware that was not even funny. Just crossing over the Bingley Bypass there. Canal, uh, a better view here, so. Canal, Bingley Bypass, and the train line. So this is the Bingley Three Rise Locks. Now, uh, the Bingley Three Rise Locks was opened in 1774. Now, uh, recently, about 20 years ago, ish, 23, 20, whatever years ago, 17 years ago, I don't know, in 2007, the locks were actually refurbished. Um, so, these are actually built with um, so they are built with stone uh, retaining walls. There's an interesting fact I've just uh, found. These were made. So these were built by John John Longbottom uh, and consist of staircase flights. So what? So I don't know if you can see one at the bottom and then another one and then one here at the top. Now this is not actually what we've come here to see. We have come here to see the very famous. Five rise locks, which is uh, just up the hill. <sighs> All right then, let's uh, let let's tackle this one then. Right, let's do it. Up to the top. Made it to the top. Level five out down there. Made it to the top of the yeah. locks. Not actually that bad to be fair. I thought that was going to be a lot worse, it. but it wasn't that bad. And that was the Bingley Five Rise Locks. Now we're on the way back to the train station now. Um, but on the while we're on its way there, I just kind of feel like I haven't really properly explained what this series is about. Now, as you can guess by the title, we're going to every single station on the West Yorkshire rail map. So, as I'm sure you can tell from this video, it's not just literally going to stations and then getting on the train and going back to the next station and then getting on just doing that we're gonna go and also explore places around the area um, to show you what's there maybe you might want to go there after you've seen it like you might want to come to Bingley if you don't live too far and you've seen the video so that's what it is really it's not just about going to the station <coughs> and, then, the, and then that literally being it that's not the point the point is we're gonna go to the stations obviously give you a bit of backstory behind them but then also come out and explore different places as well because different places are cool back at the station now so we've got a couple of minutes about 10 minutes actually until our train is uh, due to take us to Saltaire um, so a couple of things the station's got a waiting room it's got this very grim bike rack um, what else has it got? It's got Doc Matrix, it's got posters and timetables and everything. So, yeah. Um, so what I did actually want to do is just come down here because you can get a better look uh, where they have sort of redone the platform and have extended it just that little bit further. So you can see just there really, I think it's that little bit up there where the fence is where they have actually um re not redone it extended it um however obviously now we know was actually not really much point and one last thing before we leave the station has step free access there's uh, an entrance in via a ramp on this side and there's one like just there so it is step free
wasn't going to sell at all, which okay. comes down to the dogs. What do you think, Ella? You not a fan? No. What is it, Ella? Hmm. What's that? <laughs> okay, then very quickly, because Ella is very impatient and she wants to get out. Salt Air Station. You can see two platforms, Northern. Um. So obviously. World Heritage Site is Saltair. We've got a waiting room there. We've got block matrix screens. We've got station signs so you know where you are. What else have you got? You've got you you've got a grip bin. You've also got a bin bag. Um got signs for the canal. What else is there? Anything else? It's a couple of posters about not paying you. Thing. Um, yeah, Salt Air Station. Nice station. So, one thing that I will mention about Salt Air Station before we do go is that uh, there are plans, similar to what there was down at Bingley, there are plans to extend the platforms here at Salt Air. Now, that would have been, you know, four six car trains. But I don't know if we are going to get six car trains down the Airedale line now. It's got this ticket machine that also has advertisements on it. So, um, yeah, it's got, got a ticket machine. I don't think there's a ticket machine on that platform, though. I think it's just this platform. So this is the platform we're going to have to come to. We've also got useful information, buying a ticket, Northern Customer Promise, nearest staff stations, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Saltair Church there. Yeah. Walking through Roberts Park. That over there guys is where we are heading. So normally um, we would walk through Roberts Park, but it's a bit too busy for her today, so I'm going to give that a bit of a miss. Bandstand over there. I have indeed sat in that bandstand. There you go, there's a better view, view of the bandstand. You've then also got whatever that is. I imagine it probably smells in there, so I'm not going to go in it. So I'm now going to basically just film all the way up and use as much as I need because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut to me doing a voiceover about the history of Saltair Station. The original station was opened in May 1856 by the Midland Railway which had absorbed basically all the line between Shipley and Colne in 1851. The station was closed on the 20th of March 1965 following the Beach in Axe, but West Yorkshire Passenger Transport Executive and British Rail 
reopened it on the 9th of April 1984. It now serves as a very popular station for the UNESCO World Heritage Site and model village Saltaire, with services between Skipton and Leeds, Skipton and Bradford Foster Square, and even the one-a-day service to Carnforth and the one-a-day service to Lancaster. So I finished that voiceover just in time as uh, the both set off now, both being pulled up and down by these ropes. Um, the one coming up is just there, and then the one coming down is just up there. That's where they both cross over, just like that. And now they've both reached the top. And we're now going to go back down. We're not going to go right to the top because I think um, we do need to get back because Ella's, um, Ella's getting tired so I don't want to push her too much. Especially obviously after she's just um, got over her, obviously just got over her operation. So we don't want to, you know, damage the leg again. So we're going to head back down now. Yeah. And I don't know if that's done well today haven't we Ella? Yeah we have and I imagine at this point this video is starting to get a little bit lengthy now so uh, what I'm going to do actually just because of how she's getting now, she's getting quite tired, uh, we'll go back to Shipley in another video and we'll do everything properly then when we don't have Ella um, just because of how she is really. So the tramway itself has also got loads of history, but I'll probably cover that when I come back and do a separate one on it. So this here, that's where you actually catch the tram and it takes you up there and then you come back down here. What I can tell you though about the, the tramway, according to that sign, is it was built in 1895. If anyone's interested, it's, um, there's a strong odour of weed in there, so we're not going to sit in there and end the video. I'm going to sit on this bench and end it instead. Alright then, that's going to do it for this episode. The first episode of uh, visiting every station on the West Yorkshire Rail map. Still got a lot to go. Um, I'm not really going to class Shipley as though we've done it. Because I haven't, because obviously because of uh, we've not managed to get back and do it properly. So we'll do that in the next episode when we go back and do Fos uh, Brad Foster Square, Fries in all, Shipley uh, Apple Bridge and Kirkstall Forge. That should be the next episode you see, hopefully, in a few weeks. Um, but from me here, in Roberts Park, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe if you want and all that. Leave a comment what you thought to this first episode. If there's any improvements that I can make. Um, maybe things that I can add to it. Then, thanks for watching. Bye.